close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Allow it to be comfortable. Think of the whole body breathing. Your eyes, your brain, your, your neck, your lungs, your stomach, your legs, your arms. Every part is letting the energy flow, nourished by the energy. And if your mind wanders off, well, just bring it right back. This is an important principle. When you wander off, you always have the ability to come right back. New beginnings are okay. As the Buddha said, if there's something you've done that was wrong and you stop doing it, then you brighten the world in the same way that when a cloud that's been obscuring the moon moves away and the moon brightens the whole world. Whole world. It's this principle that we see with a new year. When it's a time to make a new start. You look at the things you did in the, in the past year that were good, and you make up your mind you're going to maintain them and develop them. As for things that weren't so good, here's your opportunity to make a determination. Make a resolu resolution that you're going to change. The Buddha said there are four qualities for a good resolution. One is that you're discerning and choosing your goal, what you want to do. Make sure there's something that when you accomplish it, it really will be good. It won't have any bad side effects in its train. And then secondly, when, once you figure out what you should be aiming for, then you use your discernment also and figure out what's the best way to do that, the best way to bring it about. And this is going to involve being truthful once you've made up your mind. You hold to that, and you're not going to just throw it away. And you learn how to be generous. You just give up the things that are going to get in the way of that resolution you've made. And finally, you keep your mind calm. In other words, don't get worked up about the things that you have to let go of, and don't get worked up and upset when you find yourself slipping off. You just get right back on track. It's that way that you're able to develop a sense of balance. You watch people walking across tight, tight ropes. They don't walk in a perfect straight line. They shift from the left, shift to the right, but they make their way across. So accept that there's going to be some ups and downs in your resolutions, but don't let the downs get you discouraged. Don't let the ups get you complacent. After all, this is your life that you're shaping. You shape your life with your actions, your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. And you always want to maintain that determination that you want to shape it well. Whether it's a new year or not a new year, try to stick with your determinations. If it's in the middle of the year and you see something needs improving, go ahead and make a determination then, too. But remember, it's up to you to shape your life. So the Buddha gives you the principles for doing it well. He shows you how to do it. But it's up to you to actually master those skills. But you remember, if you don't master them, the, the dangers that could come. And that when you do master them, they'll have good things that will result. Always keep that principle in mind. Don't get discouraged. Because discouragement is one of the few things that really can weigh you down and get in the way. So give yourself words of encouragement. Listen to words of encouragement from others. And if you find yourself slipping off the path, just make your mind you're going to get right back. It's something you can do. <laughs>